Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and I've got a special treat for you today because I'm going to show you how to create a very low oil content water in oil lotion and I'm also going to be showing you how to build a great story and product performance into your formulas through careful selection of materials. So first of all, let's take a look at the actual product. So I've put it in some pretty packaging for you here. The actual product has this nice yellow coloring. It's very attractive, appealing to look at. And you'll see when applied, it's a really nice uh, serum lotion type consistency. Now, one of the great things about water and oil emulsions is they work really well just because the oil is the continuous phase. And this provides a very protective layer on the skin to prevent against transepidermal water loss. The problem with a lot of water and oil emulsions is they normally contain a lot of oil. And even if you pick really light skin feel oils for that majority oil phase, they do tend to feel very greasy or look really shiny on application. This one here you can see doesn't look at all greasy or oily, and I wish you could feel it because it's a sensory delight. Now in this formula, I'm gonna be using 25% oil phase, that's it. And the emulsifier I'm using enables me to form this very low oil content water in oil emulsion. Now another great thing about this means that I'm using a small amount of oil so I can have a larger amount of water which also help with costs of the product. And in this formula I'm also going to be showing you a couple of raw materials that are available in small quantities even for small brands to access with amazing stability and performance results. So now let me show you how it's done. So when creating a water and oil emulsion, you do need to use certain materials. And again, in this video, I'm using a very special material that's enabling me to stabilize just 25% lipid as the external phase uh, and the majority is water phase. So here I have my water already measured out. To this, I'm going to add salt. You can use magnesium sulfate, but I'm using salt. Again, it's something that smaller brands can access readily. Now, don't use the iodized form. Don't use one with anti-caking agent. It must be a BP grade salt, which again, quite cheap, even by the bag form. Now we need the charge in the water because what this does, it helps the water droplets be so strongly attracted to each other that they'll stay inside the external continuous phase even as large droplets. And this helps the emulsifier stabilize that external continuous phase. I have here most of the oil phase measured out. So you can see there's a lot more water in this formula. I have used really light skin feel lipids. It does help with the skin feel. In here I have got that special emulsifier. Please contact us for the full formula and supplier details. It's too much information to put on the screen, but you can contact that, us, we'll give that to you for free. Um, so I'm using light skin feel lipids. I'm also using a nice agent in here. It gives it a buttery texture without any greasiness. So I do need to heat these up and then high shear them. I am also going to add to the oil phase an oil compatible rheology modifier. Now in this case, it's a quaternized clay, but it's already activated. Let me explain. When you create an oil continuous phase product, a water and oil emulsion, you need to stabilize it with an oil compatible rheology modifier. You can't use xanthan gum. If you use xanthan gum or a water compatible material, it will actually pull the water phase together and that will destabilize your product. Now, one of the problems with these types of materials in the past is they came as these fine little powders which you needed to add to a non-polar oil. You needed to high shear it for 15 minutes. You needed to add a polar activator, high shear for 15 minutes. All of this is really time consuming and energy consuming. Instead, you can buy an activated form. It's already activated, ready for you to just add to the formula. Now, all we need to do is heat to melt these materials and then we're gonna high shear them so that we get a really fine droplet dispersion while the emulsion forms.
Now, while that cools, let me talk you through some of the performance aspects and story that I've built into this formula. So first of all, of course, it is a water and oil emulsion, which gives us that instant high trans epidermal water loss protection. So first of all, we already know we're gonna have fantastic moisture protective properties from this formula. And of course, using the emulsifier to incorporate only 25% oil to make that continuous phase means it's not greasy. It actually has a beautiful silky end finish. So what I have here is a very special lipid called L22. It's actually a mixture of uh, lipid materials that replicate the sebum profile of a 22 year old. Now, the type of person that typically uses a water and oil emulsion or looks for this sort of emolliency and rich conditioning benefit is someone much, much older. So we're gonna be using the L22 because that's going to also help boost the product story. So we could be calling this Restore 22 or something similar because we're providing that lipid profile of a 22 year old. Now to this, I'm adding some ultra filling spheres. Now these ultra filling spheres do need to be added low shear into a formula, and they do need the formula to contain at least 20% oil phase. They are best added before the emulsion forms if you're making oil and water, but because this is a water and oil emulsion, I can add these after the emulsion has formed. Now the reason we need a high lipid content when using these is because they have absolutely outstanding results in the skin for water attraction and retention inside the epidermis so that you get these amazing filling results. Now these are very low molecular weight, so they penetrate the epidermis very easily. They capture surrounding water and water from deeper layers of the dermis to help the skin's suppleness dramatically increase. So you get this visual filling effect of fine lines and wrinkles to give the skin a very fast, instant smoothing effect. And that effect lasts for quite a while because it is hyaluronic acid in this material and also konjac powder. So we've got that fantastic instant results effect. And of course, if, if a consumer feels the product, this product does feel absolutely incredible on the skin. Um, they'll feel the moisture protective benefits. They'll get this instant suppleness from the ultra filling spheres. You've got the story about restoring the skin lipid profile of a 22 year old. We've got a lot of great stories in there already, but wait, there's more. Here I wanna show you some encapsulated actives. Now this is actually one of the big highlights of the formula and will, what, will help it be really, really unique. I have here resveratrol in an encapsulated form. Now resveratrol, as we know, really strong high performance antioxidant, but often not the most stable in a formula. So I'm using an encapsulated form of the resveratrol here so that we can ensure we've got a really long-term stable form of the res resveratrol for long-term skin benefits. This encapsulated form also has delayed release activity, which means when we apply it on the skin, we've got the moisture protective coating from the water and oil emulsifier. So we're holding the actives and the moisture in the skin. But this particular material, because they're encapsulated, the way they're encapsulated, they have that extended delivery and release, which means you're getting a slow and prolonged release of the actives into the deeper layers of the epidermis so that you get the best benefits from using the material. So compared to another resveratrol, for example, this material has got that extended release. Now this one here is actually one of my personal favorites and this is why this product is going in my cupboard. This is Rutin. Rutin is a bioflavonoid. It's also known as vitamin P. Uh, it has exceptional performance within the skin. Now this is one of my favorites because this has incredible collagen building benefits within the skin. Now again, rutin is one of those materials that usually in a formula degrades extremely fast. So fast, it's just like ascorbic acid 
you might as well not add it a, w a month after you've added it. It's, it's simply not available anymore. This particular material has fantastic extended stability results. It's got that encapsulation, which means it's protected in the formula. And then when it's on the skin, it's got that delayed release. So again, fantastic penetration, fantastic absorption by the skin. You've got that delayed release uh, for extended delivery and activity. And of course, it's stable in the finished product, which means two years from now, you're still getting the best performance out of these materials. So what we've done, we've got our water and oil emulsion. We know it's going to hold moisture in the skin simply because it's a water and oil emulsion. It's non-greasy. We've got an instant plumping effect from the ultra filling spheres. We've got that great story of the skin lipid profile of a 22 year old. And then we have these encapsulated actives. Now the other great thing about these materials, you can purchase them in quantities as small as one kilo, which means small brands can access these fantastic materials too. You've got that excellent stability from the encapsulated form and of course they've got that excellent delivery and release so that when they're applied to the skin there's this constant release of the active into the skin um, to provide long lasting benefits. So now we're just going to add these into the product and now we're going to use low shear only because we don't want to burst the ultra filling spheres and we also don't want to burst the encapsulation of the actives. I'm also going to add the preservative and antioxidant. And then stir until everything's nice and homogenous. Again, you'd use uh, blade stirrers here, low shear mixing only so that we're protecting those actives. And there we have our beautiful finished product. Now remember this will thicken slightly overnight so you'd pour it off the next day. And that's how easy it is to create a fantastic product story with outstanding performance. And I've also shown you how to create a really beautiful feeling, low oil, water in oil lotion. Now, if you've tried to create water in oil before, you'll know you usually need quite a high oil content and it normally sets to quite a cream consistency. This product, by comparison, has 25% oil phase, still has all the benefits of a water and oil emulsion, and doesn't feel greasy. And it sets to a lotion form. You could see I could easily dispense it from a serum dropper, yet it didn't run from my hand on application. It had that beautiful lotion consistency at the end, easy absorption, and a beautiful silky afterfill. Couple of key points to remember. You're not going to be able to use a low input of oil with many water and oil emulsifiers. Most water and oil emulsifiers will require a very large external continuous oil phase, which can make the finished product quite greasy. It can also make it quite viscous. So if you are looking to create this lotion form from a small input of lipids, then you really need to be using the emulsifier I've used in this formula. Uh, you also saw me use some encapsulated actives and that's so that we can get the extended release and activity from the materials as well as ensure a fantastic shelf life from the product because the encapsulation protects the actives. Now the company that put out the Rutin and Resveratrol that I've used in this particular formula also have encapsulated vitamin A, C and E grades for again, outstanding stability of their encapsulated actives. So if you're looking for materials where there is an encapsulation to protect the stability and activity of the material, as well as provide a extended prolonged release aspect so that you've got a real high performing material, then this is the company of choice because they've got those solutions for you. As you could see, very easy to incorporate into the formula even though it looked like a lot of powder, it went straight into the formula and doesn't leave a residue on the skin.
I also included some L22 for that fantastic product story and some ultra filling spheres so that consumers get that almost instant wow smoothing effect that they're looking for from products. So we've got some long term benefits from this uh, product. We've also got some instant effects from this product. And of course, there's that beautiful sensory from the water and oil emulsion that's not greasy. That's also giving them a really impressive wow factor. So now this is a bit of a different formulation type, so make sure you email us. We're happy to provide you with the full formulation method and the supplier details. It's far too much information to put on the screen, but that's how we build outstanding performance into a product formulation that also has a very marketable story. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to hear about all our video releases. Happy formulating.